as Dealer's Edge has often pointed out, the service advisor is the front line with your customers and has more opportunity to either delight them or piss them off. And in today's hyper-competitive market, the risk of poor experiences encouraging customers to take their business elsewhere is real. Pay plans can contribute to either of these outcomes by rewarding advisors for behaviors, attitudes, and results that are either in line or contrary to the dealership goals. So how can plans be developed that work for all parties, dealer, customer, and advisor, while not breaking the bank? Recently, Rob Keeley, president of Sigma Marketing, joined us to discuss how to focus on dealership goals, keeping it simple to understand, and instilling daily habits while staying within your budget. The full 60-minute recording of this discussion is available to Dealer's Edge members only. Dealer's Edge members enjoy access to this workshop, as well as our full archive of webinar recordings in streaming video and podcast download format, as well as executive summaries, books, manuals, special reports, and more. Visit dealersedge.com slash free trial to see all we have to offer. A bad system will beat a good person every time. W. Edwards Deming. Mr. Demings, a statistical process engineer, is best known for his work with the leaders of the Japanese industry after World War II. In fact, they named an award after him because his statistical product quality administration concepts made Japan Inc. the economic powerhouse that for many years was second only to the USA. Anyone of a certain age will remember the havoc that Toyota and other Japanese automakers played on domestic manufacturers in the quality and fuel economy space in the 70s and 80s. So what does this have to do with pay plans? Quite a bit, really. In truth, pay plans are pretty simple and straightforward things. And when it comes to motivating excellence, they are one of the key tools. However, it is only one of three, and arguably the least important. The other two are people and processes, well-conceived systems that work tasks. But today we will talk about pay plans specifically. What we pay has many factors and is unique to each dealership environment, such as culture. Are you country club, revolving door, corporate, or family? Business model, high process, low process. Market environment, metro versus rural large versus small, high line versus mass market, demographics such as income. Simply put, there is no one best pay plan. However, all successful pay plans have three components in common, a budget. Knowing this is the critical starting point for developing any plan. Service advisor pay plans as a percent of labor gross profit tend to fall within a range of 10 to 14 percent NCM depending on factors such as performance, franchise, etc. Enterprise goals. A simple question that is not always simple to answer. What are you looking to accomplish? Generally, the answer is sales, gross profit, and customer retention. KISS. Keep it simple. Successful plans are easy to calculate by the employee on a regular basis, daily if possible, weekly if needed, as longer intervals tend to lose their effectiveness have relatively few variables, are controllable by the advisor, promote stretch. Pay plan incentives are most impactful when they align with the dealership objectives. Rob went into more detail on this and went on to cover what makes a good service advisor, what a service advisor is worth, how much a service advisor should be paid, typical types of plans, sample pay plans. Remember, the full 60-minute streaming video workshop, its corresponding handouts, and executive summary are available to members in the Dealer's Edge archive 24 hours a day. Access it for free at dealersedge.com slash free trial.